Welcome to another exciting episode of Duck's Electronic Repair Bench. Hi, good evening YouTube. Back with you on this Sunday evening. Um, don't really have a lot to say, or a lot to tell you. There's obviously no progress over the weekend. The girls left about a half hour ago. They've been here all weekend. Um, uh, the last thing I did was the uh, paint on the uh, plate. I did notice the uh, the voltmeter that I reordered. The, ne the next one that's I ordered is, is in Cleveland, so it should be delivered hopefully this week. The other one's still in China, according to their tracking. I don't know how dependable the tracking is, but um, I guess I'll get it when I get it. Um, been watching some videos and did catch up on all those and uh, watch George's uh, JT Ray Tree Railroad video that was very nice he does some great work uh, watched uh, RR R, what is it double R yeah I believe it is he's working on the Camaro that that's that's nice made some pieces for the trunk that was they were cool I never could do anything like that. If I if I fabricate anything, it doesn't turn out nowhere near as good as it should. But, um, I don't know if I brought you back since I re reorganized all this. Uh, I don't even know if you can see all that, but anyway, I've reorganized the the uh, test equipment over here. Um, so when I, I do a video, I'll be able to use this uh, camera boom here and keep an eye on both the VTVM and the frequency counter at the same time. Um, probably I'm, I'm able to lower, lower enough to even see the signal generator, I don't know. But I've been trying to do that. I may bring this down a little bit, or make it so it comes off easy. Right now it's just attached with a regular screw. It doesn't have a wing on it. But uh, anyway, I've uh, been thinking of uh, the next thing I want to do here. Um, I really am seriously thinking about working on this. I really need to get this done now the way. I mean, it's just sitting here waiting to be put together. And I keep thinking, oh, I can do some other stuff. But, and I have this project to uh, add another outlet strip on the end for things I need to plug in, like drills, saws, things like that. Uh, kind of need to add one down there so I don't have to be dragging the, the cords over the bench here. So. Um, also been thinking about lettering for for the uh, panel. I think what I'm gonna I want to go with maybe is the label maker, one of those brother label makers. I've been looking at those, and I'll have something like zero to 140 or 150 volts AC here on top, and have dim bulb on this one. And I want I want to paint this um, outlet on the bottom a little differently to uh, indicate that it's for the dim bulb. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to paint it. I do want to paint something, I think. But uh, I, I don't know. It's just just a thought. But like I say, I want to I want to do that. And I've got to add the. Uh, I, I'm really thinking about getting a different uh, uh, wall wart for this. I did find some uh, uh, regulated power supplies. Uh, and I mean, it's Thailand. Well, China too. But, I think they were like 10 bucks for a 10 volt regulated uh, power supply you could hook to uh, an AC transformer. And I've got that little 12 volt, uh, actually puts that I think closer to 14 volts. But put that on there and, and that would give me a perfect uh, power supply for the uh, meters. And I still need to come up with, I, I, I think I've, I've pretty much decided to make the uh, Variac and meter uh, supply for for that to kick on and off with the lights so when you turn the lights on everything comes on everything's ready to go uh, I don't use it to leave the light on at all over here unless I'm working so that that would be a good thing to do I think uh, that shouldn't be any extra strain on the uh, light switch right now it's only controlling three lights so that shouldn't be a problem um, don't know what else to say. I just I mainly wanted to make a video because I haven't made one all 
all weekend. I told my grandson, he was in here earlier, I said, I'm jonesing to make a video. I haven't made one all weekend. So, uh, like I said, I didn't have really a lot to say, but uh, that's some of the things I've got coming up this week. I, I, I may have the girls again this week. Uh, my daughter goes to the doctor on Tuesday, and she's hoping they'll, they'll go ahead and do the surgery that she was supposed to do, get done then. If so, I'll probably have the girls um, take them to school and things like that. Uh, I don't know if the rest of the week, but however long she's in there. Um, so that's not a big deal. I didn't told her to do anything I could. But uh, anyway, like I said, they were here all weekend. We had, I've had a lot of fun. They played the Wii a lot. Uh, I, don't, I think one of them's not allowed to watch TV, and the other one didn't want to watch TV, so the other one couldn't. So. Um, so anyway, we didn't watch any TV. So, uh, like I can say, it's uh, I wanted to get something going here. I did. I did have a little project here. I didn't even film it because uh, I had a box sitting in the living room that uh, my granddaughter keeps papers, letters, things like that in, and it had basically kind of come unglued. And so I told her I could fix that. I fixed that for her. And I reglued it and put it. I clamped everything, so it's all back together. I also fixed her coat. She had taken the drawstring out of the bottom of her coat, and she could not get it in there, you know, poking it in like that, which I told her, I said, you just take a coat hanger and tie it to the, or tape it to the coat hanger and push it through, which I did for her, and that turned out well, so. I don't know what else to say. Um, uh, over here, I don't know if you can see this or not, I, I made a little place for my tape measure. We'll cut out here, if you can see that. I had it on the front, it was, it was pulling the front down. I thought, I don't want that very much, so I put it right there. That was one of my grandkids had gotten me because says grandpa on it, so. Um, that's about it, I guess. Um, like I said, I, I watched a lot of videos of everybody else working diligent, diligent, diligently, working on their projects and things, and uh, uh, I just, uh, I got to get going here. Got to do something. If I felt better, I probably would be out there doing things. But the way it is, I told my granddaughter, I said, they don't understand. I said, you know, it's when you can't really get up out of your chair, it's just, it takes an effort to do that. You don't really feel like doing a lot of other things. So, but they were here. They took care of me this weekend, which is good. So, guys, I'll uh, talk at you later. You guys have a good day. And thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to mention is uh, one of my upcoming projects is going to be uh, taking that monitor there and probably a different keyboard and a dedicated mouse and making a basically a shelf that will fit in this area here and then swing out over here above my chair, uh, the arms of my chair to where I can basically type and the monitor will sit right here and on the shelf and like I said the shelf will be um, angled down just a bit for making it easier to type on and like I said when I, I get done with that I can just swing it out of the way and get up out of the chair so that's one of the things I'm, I'm thinking about working on because it uh, for one thing my laptop is running out of space and I've deleted a lot of videos that I didn't really want to delete but I didn't have any choice because I ran out of space on the hard drive. Um, that one's sitting there um, not being used at all so I thought that would be better to use that one. It's a lot faster. It's a 3 gigahertz processor where that one's under 2 so uh, that would be much better to use that one and like I said the monitor's even bigger and everything would be work, work out much better and I think I've made these types of shells before. They're not too hard to make. But the biggest problem I'm going to run into is the uh, finding the uh, right uh, pole or whatever that will support the shelf and the weight when it turns. And I think I, I figured out pretty much how to do it. But anyway, like I said, that's that's what I want to come up with and, and get that uh, organized and working because uh, it's just a... It's just too, that thing is just too slow when it renders videos, and that one has a dedicated Ethernet uh, where that one doesn't. So, you know, everything would work out much better, I believe, if I had that hooked up to where I could use it uh, like I use the laptop now. So, 
that's just another thing I'm working on. I wanted to put that in there at the end. So again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.